Today on Big Girl Big City Big Style, I share with you my favorite hair products. So keep on watching. Hi, you fabulous people. It's Amanda here. So I am here to um, talk about my favorite hair products that I use every single day or almost every single day, just depending on like what I'm going and what I'm doing. So I've got all of my products laid out right here in front of me and I'm going to go through them all for, um, with you. So I've already talked about what shampoo I use. I use Win, which you can, um, um, I'll put an annotation like either on one of these sides um, so you guys can check out that video. I have a Win video and I also have a What's in My Shower video where I talk about Win and my conditioner and all that fun stuff. So it will be either, um, either on the chandelier or over here on the chandelier. So check that out. So um, so I thought I'd talk about the things that I do once I get out of the shower. So the first thing I do once I get out of the shower is I immediately put on BioSilk. This is a, um, let's see, this is a silk, um, silk therapy. It's, it's like an oil. I love it. It's so great. I, um, I'm almost out. Um, but you only, like this lasts you so long. Um, I only have to use like a little dime size and I rub it in my hands and I work it in my hair while it's still wet. And you also can, once you like blow dry your hair, if you like have some flyaways here and there, you can also like put a little bit on your fingertips and kind of work it in there too. And it doesn't make your hair feel oily or anything because I have really oily, um, hair and I never have a problem with it. I just, I love it so much. So BioSilk, you can find it at like any drugstore. It's, it's kind of pricey for what it is. I don't know how much I paid for this one, but, and it comes in all different sizes. I should get the big one because I use it so much. So, um, so yeah, so definitely I do recommend to check this out. Um, the next thing is once I, I try not to blow dry my hair. So I, if I'm, if I'm in a hurry and I need to go somewhere, I'll blow dry my hair. But if not, I'll like, let's just let it sit, um, and let it air dry. And then I always immediately, um, before I do any heat products, I always put on a, um, a heat protectant. And so right now I, I tried the Aussie heat protectant and I hated it. It was awful. I don't recommend it to anyone. Please like save your money, buy Tresemme. Tresemme is the best and it's just as expensive. It's just, as, or just as cheap, I guess. Um, and this is the Keratin Smooth. I, I tried this out because this is all they had at when I went to go get a new bottle. This is all they had, so I had to get this one. Even though I know they say keratin is not really that great for, um, it, it's like, it's really harmful. Like, it causes breakage in your hair. I use an anti-breakage Tresemme shampoo, so I really have not had it really much of a problem with that, So um, which is great. So, But yeah, I definitely recommend always, always make sure you're using some type of heat protectant whenever you are... Um, putting heat on your hair. So this is the one that I use. So and then once I, if I curl my hair, I have found that I've gotten two things I curl my hair with um, or straighten my hair. The first thing is my favorite is my, I, I call it my baby. It is my GHD straightener. I got this recommended to me last year. I had just been using like, I think I had like just like a Conair straightener. I got this recommended to me by one of my friends I went to high school with that now owns a hair salon. Um, Jay Agin Salon, you should definitely check him out. He's trying to do lots of great things um, um, and whatnot, so definitely check him out. And this is the most amazing thing that I could have ever purchased. It is pricey. It's like $180, sometimes more or less. I recommend putting in the money because it is such a good... It's such a good straightener. You, I can curl my hair with it, and I can straighten it, and it does a great job. I I have very thin, fine hair, and I feel like it doesn't. It, it's it's actually made my whole, my hair healthier, and I just absolutely love it. And so definitely check it out. And then my next thing is I um, I love 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 is I went and purchased the Remington. Uh, T-Studio um, curling wand. I love this thing. It is so much fun to use and I have done such fun things with my hair and I just love it and I can't get enough of my wand and I yeah I can't say enough great things. I know this is a great one. It's a it's really reasonable price. It's like $25 depending on like where you're getting it at and I yeah I want a thick one now. Like I want one of the one to I guess it's like one to one and a half inch and whatnot. Um, so I might try, try, check out Numi because I heard they have a um, great wand. So yes, I love my wand. Then once I have my hair all um, curled, 
I hate the feel of hairspray, so a lot of times if I know I'm not going to be like out for too long, I don't really spray my hair. But I do. I have found two hairsprays that I absolutely love that don't really make your hair feel crunchy. And my first one is the Aussie Sprunch um, Catch the Wave hairspray. I love this stuff. It's so great. It's great. Um, it's such a light and it smells so good. Like, I think Aussie products smell so, so nice and light, but, and this is a flexible hold, so it's only one. So it doesn't really have, like, a lot of hold to it, but it just has just enough hold, and I just love it, and it's great. And then the next one I go for, too, is the um, Garnier Fruity Style Full Control Anti-Humidity Hairspray. This is, um, and this is in, in level, level four, uh, ultra strong, and I love this because... In New York, we get really high humidity, no matter if it's like winter or summer, and this is so great for flyaways. And it's just, you, I really, really just use this like right on the top of my head for the little bitty wispies that I have all over my head from like breakage and whatever. And I love this stuff, and it's so, I just love it. And it's also, again, Garnier has such great smelling products, again, and I definitely recommend um, all of Garnier products, products seriously. And so, okay, so this is another product that I've had for a few years now. I got this back when I was teaching swim lessons, and it was really great for me because I was going from one job to another job, and when I was teaching swim lessons, I needed something that, like, I couldn't, didn't have to, like, do my hair. And so I got this styling cream by Erosia, which is, um, he, um, if you don't know who he is, he's the guy that, if you ever watch um, What Not to Wear, he's one of the guys that does the hair on on the um, on the the TV show, he has a studio here in New York City, which I love going to because it's like really, really, really reasonably priced, and I just love his products and I love it. And they're all like they're so great. And so this is his styling cream that I use. And all you have to do is you really don't need very much. I usually use like about a nickel, to, a nickel to quarter size um, on my hand. I rub it in, and while my hair is still wet, I just like work it into my hair, and let it go. Like, it's so great. It just kind of like let it sit. You can also style your hair, of course, with it because it is styling cream. But this is great if you don't really have the time to style your hair. It's really great to put in and just let it like air dry and it will look bouncy and fun. And yeah. So, but it also is a really great um, product too when you actually are like blow drying and doing that kind of stuff with it as well. So, I do recommend it for both. It's, it says it's volume, bu volume building base to support slick set and hold. Um, work through damp hair um, to set and style or blow dry in for extra fullness. So I do love this stuff. And I, I'm about gone, so I'm going to have to go and get um, go over to the studio and get some more. So my next product is my favorite, and I just found out they've discontinued this. And so I'm going to have to try a new product, which I hear um, Garnier has a great one that just came out. So it's my John Frieda... Um, Luxurious Volume Dry Shampoo, and I love this stuff. This is my third bottle of this, or can of it, and I, I just, I think I just had this in one of my favorites, and I'm so very upset that it is discontinued. I love this stuff, and it's such, it's a great product, and I'm, yeah, I'm really bummed. So I'm gonna like try and make this like last as as much as I can. So I might go out and buy the Garnier one, just so I have it, so I can make this one last, because this one's about like three-fourths full and if I can make this last as long as possible that would make me happy so because it is kind of a small can so sad day okay my next one I only really used or like use in summertime because it gets so hot here in New York City with like and I don't really feel like blow drying my hair or like doing my hair so I kind of just like let it like dry on its own so I have found the Bumble and Bumble um surf spray I love this stuff I bought you can find it at Sephora it's so great you just spray it it's like sea salt and it is literally like an ocean in a bottle and you just like spray it on your hair and like spray it in your roots and just like let it air dry and you have like beach curls it's really even great to even add to like when you curl your hair like these would be really nice because um, on like second day curls and like to make it more of a beachy look and I just love it so it is kind of pricey I think this one was like $22 for this little like bottle so I've actually come up made my own formula and 
what I've done is I just bought a spray bottle from like Target or somewhere and I took coarse sea salt and water and I mixed it together and I have found that it does the exact same as this because Bumble and Bumble are so like particular about what's in their products. They don't really put, as you can see, it's very much no ingredients are listed on the bottle. So I created my own sea salt, um, my own wa ocean water. So what I did was I, I filled up the um, with sea salt to about here. It really has dissolved now because um, I, you know, this has been this has been a few months since this is like I've um, I've done it. So. And I put fill it with water, and the I find that it dissolves just fine, and it's so great. And I feel, and I think it lasts. It does the exact same job, and it saves you some money. So you can't beat that, right? So those are my those are my products that I love and I use and um, whatnot. So I also wanted to show you just really quickly some of my favorite like hair accessories that I use. So I'm a huge headband person. So well. Um, right now I'm wearing a little bow, a little bow clip on the back of my hair, um, but I'm a huge headband girl, and I have all of my headbands that I absolutely love. I got this from a friend a few years ago as a gift that I absolutely love wearing, and then I just wear, like, just fun headbands, like, all kinds. I absolutely, I made this one because of I'm a Colts girl, and so when football season comes around, I wear this one um, to represent, to, um, to, like, show off my ouch <laughs> to show off my blue and um, white and then I just have so many different kinds of headbands and then these are great because they just put, add a little bit of color and yeah so I'm a big headband girl and then I absolutely whenever I wear a bun or my hair in a ponytail I either like to put a ribbon in my hair or I love 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 flowers I have um, I've seen that I got these all at forever 21 and I've also seen that forever 21 has some new ones that are like neon and pink ones so that's my goal is to go over and um, get some of those ones for the spring summer so because these are very wintry and I love these and I've been wearing these all winter so I had a purple one so I somehow lost it in the mix of I don't know if it was packing or whatnot so but these are I love to wear in my hair and then as always I'm a butterfly clip oh. I love wearing to find different ways to wear the butterfly clips. I have so many different sizes and the little ones and the, and the medium ones and so so yeah so those are my favorite um, hair products that I use on an everyday basis or um, on a seasonal basis depending on what is I'm in the mood for with my hair so I wanted to share that with you I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did please give me a big thumbs up so I can it helps me to know what videos that you are enjoying and if there's any suggestions that you have on other videos always I um, comment below and I would love to get more ideas and whatnot so also too all of my, um, I will link all of the products um, below. Please know that not, I'm not affiliated with any of these products. I don't like represent or anything like that. So these are all my own personal opinions. And I hope you have a great day. Also, make sure that you're checking out all of my other channels down below of ways that you can connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and all the thing, all those other fun things. So I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. And always remember, the best revenge is being fabulous. Thanks for watching, guys. Nice.